in this video I'm going to show all the mistakes I've been making the last few weeks to show you what goes wrong and how to fix it. I had experimented with all sorts of different temperatures and settings but I just couldn't get the first level level and when I did I was getting a real mess with my supports. The PLA was also not drying first thing I did was to change my filament. I think my filament was getting a bit old. I did discover that having a dark filament for your supports meant that you could see your first layer better. Let's start with something simple like this model. We make generate automatic supports for millimeter resolution. See what happens. pretty good from here you could just say okay let's print this but there's one thing you have to check my supports kept coming off and that was because this wasn't big enough this area can you see it's slightly up it took me a while to figure it out but it's not actually making a layer what we have to do is back here with additions, check what this is, rough, rough offset. Let's put that to 8. And then see what happens. By the way, the separation distance for a good is really low. So we'll try this. Many of my prints are very complex and they often start as little smudges and I've always had problems, either this picks out by the nozzle and then I have to start again or the supports break. Now I'm going to try to show you how I've solved that. Back to the settings, we start right from the beginning the layer. We make sure that there's a retraction and here that here I've set it at 40. This means that it will not pick your model off. It'll go up a little bit. So now we check the layer out. I'm on medium. I want to be fast. Bottom solid layers will go for three. Just check that this is still working because every time you make a setting from fast, medium, whatever, this changes. So just double check. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we'll have white nozzle as well. That also helps. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. The additions. Here, see, it's 16 millimeters offset. This is quite a big model, so that's right outside. Graph layer is three. Separation distance, we'll just give it... Raft infill 35, make sure this is disabled, otherwise it will go to 80. 35 is a good number. This is good, this is good. We'll just put that to 3 as well. The infill, you just saw it was pretty open, so we'll push that. The infill doesn't make much difference on time, just makes difference to stability. Go to 35, I think. That and minimum, I always put it to zero. That's okay. That's okay. Now we go to supports. You just saw it's pretty open, so we'll support percentage. We'll push that up to 30. Now we're going to add a dense support layer. This means exactly what it says it'll be denser, and in this part, you can make the percentage higher. So it was 30, now it's 45. We'll just take that up to 50 because it's quite a detailed model. This, this is okay. Horizontal, I think at 40 because I'm using ABS as my support. I want good distance. Oh, sorry. Good distance. So we'll just put that to 42. You see the distance. Temperature. 
heated bed. I'm going to take this to 60. Left extruder is PMA 220, wonderful. Right ABS 260. Everything's good. Just check all of this stuff is good. Now, I had loads of problems because the cooling wasn't set somehow in default. So we'll start fan speed zero, but then we're going to add, I think we're going to three. We set the fan speed. I think I'm going to go to 80. And add a set point. This was why my model wasn't drying. Somehow these settings weren't set. But now you know, you better check it. Okay, G code, mm -hmm, scripts. Other is interesting here. Bridging. You're going to make that a bit bigger. That makes your, 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 where, where your angles are a little bit easier to see. Bridging says, okay, that's okay. And that's okay, that's okay. And the advanced. Now, avoid crossing. And we will make sure the retraction distance. We can leave that's okay, that's okay. Heel is good. This is all out. I think I'm just going to click that in. And we're okay. This are now your settings. We just go over to here. And here you see, this is now filled in. That's your top, top layer. And when we go to the beginning, yeah, we see also here's a little cup for it to be pushed in. It's a nice, strong support system. You can always add more infill if you want a more strong model. And as for details here, yeah, it's a good idea. We just make it, it's at 1 hour 55 at the moment, that means 2 hours. We just make the infill make it up to 60. That's better for the fingers, etc. Okay, so that was that. Sometimes you need to just add a few more supports the same resolution. 